Hello everyone and welcome back to the React Couch. I'm Simon Toast Ken. This is Buff Pro and we're watching some more Dr. B. Woo! We're about to get filled in. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys have heard or not, but Dr. Phil went on stage with Good Charlotte. Here's his Twitter right here. Here to rock this biscuit. Got the devil horns up and everything. Woo! He's really enjoying his time there. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are those tears? <laughs> those tears. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he didn't feel like himself. He, he went out and normally he would throw the knife hands out. That's true. But he probably felt it wasn't safe for the band or the people out dancing. <laughs> So he just did the devil horns. Yeah, much more appropriate. So yeah. uh, let's, let's get a little clip of Dr. Phil singing with them. Oh. Oh, Doc! Oh. oh, beautiful. He's even got that vibrato in his voice, like he's a little nervous. Just, yeah! <laughs> he's getting into it. Just that one note the whole time. <laughs> now the look on his face makes sense, really. <laughs> <laughs> So on today's React Couch, now that we know that Dr. Phil is, is he's in there with the music, he knows what he's doing, where this woman, she wants to be a fantastic singer. She has the skills and her husband or ex-husband is holding her back and she's mad about it. She's going to Dr. Phil to get some help. Wonders of your love, Lord. I think she's got a shot. You know, I think so. I think Dr. Phil can definitely help her out. Maybe get her in tune. Yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah. I mean, she's got the hand up and everything, you know? Right, yeah. That's, that's true. She's got you the knife I mean? hand going. She already knows. Dude. Oh. They might be able to collab. <laughs> <laughs> My ex, Danielle, is incredibly hateful, spiteful, antagonistic, and a malicious human being. She oh, man. Dang. He just threw it all out there. Yeah. And they even zoomed in and hit like that, that negative screen on her like, <laughs> <laughs> evil. Every single time, Danielle visits with my daughter. There is always drama. Ooh, always drama. Mm. Mm. How much drama you think? I mean, at least a little bit. My man here don't seem like he's lying. <laughs> because of Danielle's games, my daughter has missed a substantial amount of school. Oh, dang, the little girl can't even go to school because mom's got that drama going on. You believe this dude? I, I believe him, I don't know. So far, so good. Did you trust his haircut though? Well, that's what I keep looking at. I don't know. <laughs> Wonders of your love, Lord. All right. All right. I totally believe him so far. <laughs> we asked Danielle, our daughter, to be our flower girl. Danielle said, over my dead body. The day before my wedding, Danielle called CPS on us. Whoa. And they had to go through all this to get the daughter at the wedding. And then she called, what, CBS? Who'd she call? <laughs> not CBS. <laughs> Please, not CBS. <laughs> CPS. CPS is that like poison control or something? Or no, what, what is that? Child Protective Service. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Our daughter called Danielle just to let her know she was on her way home. When the plane landed, police were waiting to check my little girl. Jeez, she went, the plane landed, the police were waiting. CPS again, <laughs> called him up. Yeah. Oh, she's flying, she's flying. Danielle puts God singing for church and her aspirations to be rich and famous above the needs of our daughter. She wants to be famous, but she doesn't actually have any talent. Oh, Ooh, hey. The husband came in there. She, hey. she wants to be famous. No talent. God. Hey, drop the bomb. You blame Brandon for kind of where you are in life right now. How so? I've had to spend over $50,000 on traveling to see my daughter. I've had to spend money in it's hard. Life's hard. If he's being a jerk, I want to, I'll jerk a knot in his tail. I, I want to. Oh, oh, uh oh! You need to tell me that's that's oh. what I do. Thank you. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Yes. That dude's being a jerk too. Let me know. <laughs> Dad, wow! He that's will, what I do. He will take a knot in his jerk a knot in his tail. <laughs> right in his tail. <laughs> I mean, maybe hitting on him. Be like, yo, girl, do mess with you. Just let me know. Yeah. I'll I, take care of him. That's yeah. what I do. Wonders of your love. She doesn't actually have any talent. I'll jerk a knot in his tail. I'll jerk a knot in that tail, girl. Jerk a knot right in it. <laughs> Made it a point to go as far away as he possibly can, away from me. Florida, one end of California, Oceanside, <clears throat> and now he? Alabama. <laughs> Why is she laughing saying Alabama? Yeah. What's wrong with yeah. Alabama? Wow. She's, she's talking about this. She's like, and then you moved to Alabama. <laughs> 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 you can't be a famous singer from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wasn't he in the military? Yeah. My husband moved here and here and here and here. He's trying to get away from me. He's running from me. I'm having to spend all this money to chase him down. Uh, yeah, but was he in the military? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she's aware that they move around a lot. Uh, it's understandable. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't have time when you're in, when you're in the singing industry. That's true. You know what I mean? You to, got, to you pay gotta, attention to, to life, really. You can't keep up with the little people. No, heck no. Especially <laughs> people from Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> back in your hometown you said you were not ready for fame then but you think you can handle it now yes uh, how were you famous then <laughs> hey you, you guys here is going tell me how, how famous were you tell dr phil how famous you were yeah let's just hear this i grew up with my brother being in the pittsburgh pirates so i had pittsburgh pirates ah that's why she's famous yeah because her brother's in the pittsburgh Pirates. Who? Who's that? <laughs> yeah, that ain't the football team, is it? <laughs> is it baseball? I don't know. Is it baseball? Hey, I got, we got to look it up real quick. Who's the Pittsburgh Pirates? Pittsburgh Pirates. Ah, uh, it's baseball. Oh, yeah, gotcha. baseball. Yes, America's favorite sport to only watch the highlights of. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you're out here now. No better place than... Hollywood. It's magical. Yeah. He's sly. He is sly. He's so sly. He's just setting it's, her up. He is. He's getting her so set up right now. <laughs> you, you can even see on his face is like, yeah, yeah, you keep telling me about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on your side and time to destroy you soon. <laughs> he's setting her up. Oh, he's going to get her. Uh, we went to the Marine Corps ball together and then uh, she went back to New York. Why did she go back? Because that's where she lived and it was time for her to go back. <laughs> it's like, Cause she doesn't live there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> she lives at home. You call the police to meet the child at the airport, stating that the child sounded dehydrated on the phone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna underline that one. Yeah. This child just sounded dehydrated. Oh. All right, we'll come back to that. <laughs> Tell me how you sound dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> just the way he asks these simple questions. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, just tell me how you sound dehydrated. But you can tell that he's like, <laughs> all right. Didn't you later admit that it wasn't because she sounded dehydrated, it was because you didn't get a call the night before? Did you, did you, did you see the, you see the? Oh yeah. You see it? It's starting to come. Yeah, it's, it's like, like well, sharpening it. It's like he's got like chisel hand going right now. Like show the weakness. <laughs> it's and he's in gonna holster. Stop it. Ooh. Look at her face. She's like, oh no. He's like, oh, here oh, go. <laughs> Look at the dude back here, like, uh, holding on the neck. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. The child was fine. <laughs> child was fine. All right. <laughs> Are you telling me? They've been talking about a bunch of the legal stuff. Dr. Phil just got out, like, both of the. <laughs> like, he just held him up, like, you see these hands? <laughs> Are you telling me that this man has woven together a <laughs> You see the way he, he saw the knife he was like, Ooh, You see the way he looked Ooh, at it like Oh my oh god, god. <laughs> oh has woven together a conspiracy. No 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 listen L look at me. I'm just shaking my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> Doctor uh. was like don't interrupt me and then she keeps talking and he's like are you Girl, I was about to take it easy on you. Um, I just feel very attacked. I feel very attacked right now. <laughs> the doctor feels about to be, listen, girl! Always oh, antagonizing her. I'm about to antagonize you at this point. <laughs> you need to stop talking and you need to listen to me. <laughs> Ooh, she, you need to stop talking and listen to me. Here they are. <laughs> She's just like, oh, I'm pirate baseball famous. <laughs> about to call the CPA or whoever on you. <laughs> CBS. <laughs> You know, he may be a, a complete jerk off camera. I don't know. I don't care. Dr. Phil is just throwing it out. Yeah. This dude may be a jerk off camera. I don't know. I don't care. I'm Dr. Phil and uh, I'm a little more than baseball famous, all right? Yeah. <laughs> no, you He's need to. done this to me so many times, Dr. Phil. Oh also. my God. Listen to me. <laughs> 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 
about to give you the pipe bomb. <laughs> you are playing a game and you've been caught at it. You're just not very good at manipulating. <laughs> oh, whoo, whoo. Man, I got nervous there for a minute. I know. Goodness gracious. I thought we were about to start seeing pieces over just start flying everywhere. The knife <laughs> hands was out just uncontrolled for a second. He was like, whoa! Woo, Doc! Ooh, man, you think you think, uh, you think she changed her ways after that episode? Ah, <sighs> yeah, probably. I mean, if, if Dr. Phil had us both on stage right now and is like, you gotta stop making these videos that take what I say out of context for humor or I'm gonna chop you at this room, I'd probably quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>